We come to a time of worship here at Shepherdstown Church. While you may not be able to attend, at least you can experience the presence of the Holy as we consider what God has to say for us this day. I read from Mark, the seventh chapter, these words. Now when the Pharisees and some of the scribes who had come to Jerusalem gathered around him, they noticed some of his disciples were eating with defiled hands, that is, without washing them. For the Pharisees and all the Jews do not eat unless they thoroughly wash their hands and thus observing the tradition of the elders. And they do not eat anything from the market unless they, can, they wash it. And there are also many other traditions that they observe. So the Pharisees and the scribes asked him, why do your disciples live according to the tradition of the elders, but eat with defiled hands? He said to them, Isaiah prophesied rightly about you hypocrites, as it is written, this people honors me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching human precepts as doctrines. You abandon the commandment of God and hold to human tradition. Dear Lord, bless our meditation upon the word and bless all of those who hear it and in their homes, cause their homes to be a place of refuge and peace as you are present to them, O oh God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Remember Zero Mostel and uh, the Fiddler on the Roof? Oh, a lot of high schools uh, have done that play in recent years. And he sings the song Tradition. That is to hold on to those long-held uh, things that make life have stability. But in changing times, those words don't quite fit our present time and situation. Well, we're adjusting right now to, uh, to the coronavirus, to church life, and what the future has to hold. I remember uh, back when I was a student in night school at the Harrisburg Area Community College, and the professor in the very first class said, the only constant in human behavior change. We could change in two ways, forced change or intentional change. And a scripture verse that we see here is about change. Jesus, with a new wave of change and opportunity, as opposed to the Pharisees that wanted to hold on to their traditions, no longer biblically based, but rather that of a human origin. So there was, in, in a sense, spiritual play acting by the Pharisees because they were not about the truth. They were about what they wanted to hold in place as they called it truth. Meanwhile, with their lip service, they were contrary to their understanding of what Jesus was about. He was this fresh new wind blowing in speaking of how religious acts didn't really address the things of the heart. He understood that his disciples, while in this era where we are most concerned about washing our hands for 20 seconds, he was not so concerned about that physical act, but having the right heart when we have that particular act take place. So we can be about lip service in this brief message, or we can be engaged in our world, engaged in what is right, engaged in what is good. And the challenge of change for us Christians, for Shepherdstown Christians, is that we recognize and live in this world of change not as somebody reacting to it, not as one paying lip service, 
but rather as one who sees new life as believers in Jesus Christ. Because this change marks us as new creations, new people. Now, yes, change is inevitable, but the faith perspective that we have in this world of change, in this time of change, in this time where our culture seems to be so much in flux, there is one who is faithful, one who gets us through, one by that power of the living God who will guide us. Let's pray. Wise God, gracious as you are, be a comfort and present. In our times of change, cause your timeless word to so change us that we might live in newness of life for you. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen.